What's up everyone? Game Master 468 here, bringing the next part of my battle for Bikini Bottom Walkthrough. Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom Walkthrough. Alright, so we're playing as Patrick now, and we can do new things, such as pick up watermelons, or I'm sorry, throw for whatever. Whatever, man. Alright, so we can pick them up by pushing the circle button, and you can do things like hit, hit buttons with them, such as this. Ba-bam. And yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, you can pick up watermelons. You can also pick up cheekies, believe it or not. And he has this belly bulging move. Kind of creepy. And over here we have a bus stop. This is a bus stop. You may switch between playing SpongeBob or Pat or playing Patrick at bus stops. So it Patrick had thrown fruit up steps, went, then climb the steps, pick up the fruit, and throw it again. But he's, but he better hurry before it, um, whatever. I wasn't anywhere close to that sign. What the heck? I was way, way over here to show off the bus stop ability, and that sign, way, way over here, activated. What the heck? What the heck, man? I don't get it. What the heck? I don't get it. Okay, anyway. So, you can switch between playing as Spongebob or Patrick by pressing the R1 button near bus stops, such as, like this. So, yep, that's cool, but Spongebob can't really do anything in this area right now, so we're just going to switch right back to Patrick. And just as this sign who so rudely interrupted me from like a mop room like four miles away, um, <laughs> we're going to take the stir fruit, throw it up on the sledge, and not fail at it. I'm gonna throw it up on the sledge. I'm gonna pick it up again and throw it at this button. Turn this on. And we're gonna learn about another mechanic that Patrick can do. This is a special Patrick teeter totter um, that only Patrick can use. Have Patrick um, pick up a throw fruit, stand on the pink selfish side. Then throw the fruit at the target side. Patrick will then be flying across to the other side of the la of the lake. All right, so you can pick up fruit, set on the starfish icon, and throw it on the target, and we are flying. All right, so that's cool. And another tiki over here. This is a thunder tiki. When Patrick touches it, or SpongeBob, it will begin to, or Sandy. It will begin to storm, and after a few seconds, it will go BOOM! Don't be near it when it goes BOOM. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Alright, so we're just gonna move forward. Alright, now you can pick up a Thunder Tiki, and throw it... You know, it's not like it's Just like other Tiki's, but he... I'd better throw it fast, because otherwise it'll go BOOM, and going BOOM is not a really fun time. Seriously, it's that one. Trust me. I've done it before, I'm saying. Alright, so let's see, what's over here? Pretty sparkly thingy. Okay. Um, looks like Plankton's over hey, here. Hey, you barnacle head! Watch where you're going! The rock is talking to me. <laughs> oh, mighty rock! I am at your command! Oh, Patrick. Down here, you big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. I love Patrick's lines in this game. I just love it so much. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket! Well then, will you vaporize me? Have it, why do you want to be vaporized? I might spare your life so I can force you to work ha, in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knock-off wallets. Oh, thank you! Yeah, apparently you want to make knock-off wallets. Right, yeah, ground pound, thank you. We already know how to do that. Same as Pop, jump and then proceed. Alright, let's proceed forward. Ooh, scary dark cave. Ooh, scary man. 
Alrighty. Explosions. <laughs> Explosions. Alright. So we're just making our way through this cave. Alright, and so us how to use fruit on buttons. We kinda already knew how to do that, so... Oh, we have to do this quickly. Yes, you have to do it fast enough. Um, gotta get the, both of these buttons pressed at the same time. If you don't do it quick enough, then um, the button's gonna deactivate and you'll have to start again. And this is kind of tricky, but if you die, um, they'll like go out all at once so you'll have a better chance of timing it and stuff like that. So yeah, let's jump on these platforms. It would be gear. <laughs> Dump out! That, that, ow, ow! No, I don't like that. No, no, no. That makes me sad. That makes me sad. Alright, we made it. Ah, hang on. Let's get this throw fruit and throw it at the Thunder Tiki to get rid of these boxes. But we, we don't do it like that. We do it. This! There we go. Alright, that's more awesome. Alright, so we have this platform over here, you stand on it, the door opens, but when you walk off it, the door closes. Very simple puzzle, just what you want to do is take the throw fruit, throw it onto the button, then make your way through the door before the watermelon explodes. Alright, now it's going to teach us that we can use watermelons as platforms, so let's just throw it near this edge, and before it explodes, let's jump on it and use it to boost us onto the ledge. We can also stack watermelons on top of other watermelons, like this, give us some extra height. So that's pretty cool. Let's do the same thing. Take these two watermelons, jump over here. All right, we have a box, which means we gotta do some sliding, baby. Oh yeah. Ooh, flames. Flames are cool. Flames are cool. <laughs> Where is the whistle? Where is the whistle? <laughs> ah, 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 I can't see. Okay, there we go. Ow! I don't know how I got hit, but okay. Alright. So we have a golden spatula over there. But before we go, I'm gonna learn about this this over here. I'm not gonna actually use it because it involves getting the sock and we can't get all the socks yet. But it's an important element, so we're just gonna go over here. This is a freezing fruit. Yeah! Ice cubes aren't ice cubes, they're just fruits. Patrick <laughs> can pick up freezing fruit and throw it. Freezing fruit will temporarily freeze goo. Patrick can slide on frozen goo until it thaws. Which apparently takes only like 15 seconds. <laughs> Alright. If Patrick belly flops near robots, he can um, damage or stun them. Small robots will simply be defeated by Patrick's belly block. Larger robots will be stunned for a short period of time. And if you stun a robot, you can actually um, you can actually pick up stunned robots, which we're going to be using in a minute. That's made okay. Thank you for pointing out these obvious out. It was obvious thing that. Get rid of that. Oh, uh, here we go. Let's see how to do that now. Patrick may even pick up robots he has stunned and throw them into other robots. Right, that'll be handy. What we need to do is pick up this robot over here, throw it at this button, and then we can get to the golden spatula. Alright. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Alrighty. So that is a golden spatula come to the um, point. Go over here. Alrighty. And I'm gonna I'm not gonna end the video here, but I'm gonna stop recording for just a second because there's something I need to do really quickly. So um I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Alright, let's get back to the action. Just getting out of the caves. And, yeah, stuff. Ah, hang on. Ahoy there! Squidward tells me you're looking for the king jellyfish. Well, actually, he kind of sent Spongebob to find the king jellyfish. So, that's kind of a lie. Yes. 
What? No, no. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor. All right, that's our destination. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. All right. What are you waiting for, boy? Go get that king jellyfish. Now, the weird thing is, is that even after you've defeated the king jellyfish, Mr. Krabs will still say this to Patrick. Is there, like, something I'm missing or something? Like, is there some sort of thing I'm supposed to do with Patrick and again to stop saying that? Or is that just some glitch that they never resolved or something? I don't know, I always found that kind of odd, but let's go over here and we'll see meet a new enemy. Let's see, who's this guy? Hmm. What? Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, don't fall, Starfish One. No. Oh. That's some spectacular aim there. Alright, but this enemy's real easy. Just avoid his tartar sauce, and then go in and attack him. You can also stun this enemy, but you can't pick him up for some reason. I don't know why. Oh well. That's a mystery we'll never resolve. But anyways, let's keep going. Hmm. Here. And hey, it's Mrs. Puff! How you doing, Mrs. Puff? Hello, Mrs. Puff! Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. Oh, no. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Sure enough, Mrs. Puff. All right, so we have a new mission. A really simple one at that, although as a kid I found this to be a really difficult one. I don't know why, because this mission is actually really, really simple. Alright, let me show you what you have to do. Okay, so these robots are going to come out from somewhere. You want to stun the robots, and then pick them up and throw them at these water fountain type thingies. That's all you have to do. Just pick them up, throw them into the water fountain thingies, and just keep doing that until all of them are destroyed. So, yep, just keep doing that. Really simple. I don't know why I found this difficult as a child. Uh huh, it's done. Thank you. Alright, I think this is the last one. Alright! And for our troubles, we get ourselves a golden spatula. Awesome! Alright, let's get rid of this guy. Just for the heck of it. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, let's get this underwear. And we get a golden spatula. Super Mungo Awesomeness. All right, and we just sit there and let's save. All right. Okay, so that's everything we need to do here. Let's see, I think there's something over there, but or is that just a shortcut back to the? Let's see, what is this? Yeah, this is just a shortcut back to the beginning. Okay, let me go over there. All right, so let's head back. And I always found this dialogue to be really humorous, humorous with Mrs. Puff here over here, just listen to this. Well done, Patrick. You're a real star. <laughs> Not that cheesy joke that I found funny. It's this one. Did I get a cookie? No. <laughs> uh, I always found that funny. I just keep listening to that dialogue over and over and over again. Alright, so we need to switch back to SpongeBob now. And over here we're going to learn about a new Tiki. This is a tiki. SpongeBob will have to sneak up on sneak up on it in order to destroy it. Patrick may throw things at it from a distance. And as for Sandy, well, I believe you can use her lasso to attack them. I could be wrong. I don't know if that'll actually work. I'll test that when we actually play as Sandy for the first time. For now, let's just sneak up on it and square button to attack it. In order to have Spongebob sneak up like that, all you want to do is just tilt the left analog stick ever so slightly. Don't push it all the way or else he's just going to break out into a run. Just tilt it about halfway 
Not all the way, just ever so slightly. And SpongeBob will do a sneaking motion. And he'll be able to sneak up on the Tiki's in order to break them. Alright, so that's really simple. Ha! <laughs> I broke that without even meaning to. <laughs> Alright. So we're getting close to ow. The King Jellyfish. Ow. So, that was major fail, God. Uh, in case you didn't see that, let's see that again in slow motion. Yeah. Major combo of fail. And let's see, what's up there? Just some underwear. I'm gonna go get that, because I desperately need a new wear after that. Uh, not me, Spongebob, you know, I just... I mean, whoa, epic dodge. Get that. And that. And that. Alright. Next. Whoa. Ow. See, that's what I'm talking about. That guy didn't even touch me. And yet, it still count as a hit. What the heck was that? Seriously, what the heck was that? Right, and I think this pair of underwear will do it. See, I believe we're supposed to go this way, but I want to see what this direction has in, has in store for us. Maybe it's a sock. I don't know. I don't. If it is, I'm not going to collect it, because ow. So I don't want to get all the socks yet. Let's see. Swimbox should come back here later when he has the cruise bubble move. Ah, okay. So this does have a sock, but we're unable to get that sock yet. Um, so yeah, this is why I said I'm gonna collect all the socks in this area yet, because we don't have all the necessary moves that we need in order to collect all the socks in this area. And that thing we just saw was a good example of that. So, yeah, we're just gonna kind of avoid that for now. Ow! Jerk. Take that. Alright, let's get rid of this guy. Right here. What's this? This is a stone tiki. It cannot be destroyed with ordinary moves. It can be blown up by Thunder Tiki's. Like this. Boom! Oh yeah, baby. Alright, let's get this pair of underwear. Alright. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's keep going. Ha ha ha! Combo, baby. Alright, let's go ahead and destroy this. Alright, let's see, I gotta pay some shiny objects. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright. And I believe we're almost to the top of this area. Before you can kill me, jerk. <laughs> Alright, that's that. Let's see. Yep, there's a sock over there. We're not gonna collect that, but if you wanna get that now, then you can go right ahead and collect that. Da 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 da. Right? Keep these. That, that, good job. Alright. And there's a box. We can teleport back to the bottom if we want to. Not sure why we want to, but. The, ah! No! Ow. Yeah. Let's just uh, die on purpose. So we can get back to the top. I'm and... I'm what? Boo! Okay, I'm back to the spot where I died. Alright. Let's wait for him to shoot first. And then let's attack him. There we go. Alright, and yep, we're almost to the top. Now right here, if you want to, you can pro skill it and get to the top right now by going on this thingy. Yes, we go over here to the end, like this. And wait for it to tilt all the way back. You can actually run up and jump right on the edge in order to get that golden spatula over there. Like this. Okay, maybe that, like that, okay. But yeah, it is possible, I have done it before. 
Um, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna play it the way the game developers intended me to play this level. All right. Whoa. All right. Do, 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 do. Whoa. And that. Oh yeah, baby. All right. We have a little tear cutter thingy. Okay, we'll go all the way back. Let's see. Is shiny objects here? All right. Shiny objects. Right, and here we're gonna learn about a brand new move. SpongeBob can jump up walls when this symbol appears. Jump against the symbol wall and press the X button to jump again. So you can do wall jumps on symbols that have these sponge icons on it. You can do wall jumps like this. Oh, but with less fail. Just keep pushing X as you get to there. And keep doing that until you get to the top. All right, and we are at the top of the court. Mountain. Jerk. Such jerk move. Alright. Let's lock this guy off the edge. Goodbye. <laughs> awesome. Alright. Golden spatula. Alrighty. Okay, so we're almost done with this level. Through this gate is the mini boss with the king jellyfish. So let's head over there now. Bubble buddy! Gosh, everyone is trying to help out today! Awesome! Step quietly there. That king jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck! You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. Yeah, Bubble Buddy serves Bubble Buddy serves absolutely no purpose in this boss battle or mini boss battle. He's just he's really just here to tell you, hey, you've reached the mini boss with the king jellyfish. Alright, so let's head up here and face off against him. There's his help near in the corner. <laughs> I knew the King Jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? Ooh, I didn't mean to interrupt him in the shower. Um, hey buddy, can we have your, um, King Jellyfish jelly? Uh, oh, oh, apparently he's upset that we interrupt him in the middle of the shower. Okay, that's fine, but basically what you want to do is he'll do these shockwave thingies. And after he does the shockwave thingy, he'll be vulnerable for a short amount of time. So I'll wait for him to do the shockwave thingy. Let's keep waiting and avoid his little rings of doom. Jump over the shockwaves and attack him. Alright, so, and every time you, he, you attack him, he'll send out jellyfish to attack you. You can just ignore them if you want to. They're not really much of a threat. Alright, so stay back and keep doing that over and over and over again until you've beaten him. Three hits will do the trick. Oh, and you'll also do more shockwave thingies as you attack him more and more. So if you're really, really good, you could actually go ahead and attack him right after you do the... After, right after he does the first shockwave thingy. No, not even give him a chance to do the other ones. Which is what I'm gonna do right now. Alright, here we go. Uh, oh, jerk. Alright, well, let's try that again. And bam! There we go! Alright, so he's defeated. And for our and for our troubles, we get the King Jellyfish Jelly. And apparently he's going on a, some sort of business trip or something. I don't know. He has a suitcase. I don't even know where he's going. Maybe he's going uh to California. Oh, well, that doesn't matter, but what does matter is we got the King Jellyfish Jelly, and we are able to give it to Squidward and get his Golden Spatula. Alright, but in the meantime, we're able to get another Golden Spatula at the bottom of the slide. But I'm gonna, I'm not gonna show you how to do it just yet. Actually, we're gonna meet Winner the Lobster in just a minute. He's actually gonna tell us how to get that Golden Spatula. Alright, so let's just slide down here like normal. Keep going. 
Rustic swimming, rustic swimming, rustic swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim. <laughs> right, and there's the golden spatula over there. See it? There it is. It's right up there on the top. But we didn't get enough momentum to get over there. So here's how we get enough momentum. Larry, go ahead and swing. Hey there. It looks like you'll have to make a huge jump at the end of that ramp in order to reach that golden spatula, huh? Cowabunga! Wow, that's a mighty big leap. I hope I can make it. I believe you can make it, SpongeBob. All right, so yeah, what, as Larry Dilopter just said, we need to make a big jump. Meaning that right as we reach the end of the slide, we want to do a double jump right as we head off in order to get that golden spatula. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead until we get to when we get to the bottom. All right, so here we go. Press the end and double jump. Oh yeah, we made it. All right, that's ten golden spatulas. All right, so there we go. We got that golden spatula. Now let's immediately get another golden spatula, the last golden spatula of Jellyfish Fields. From Squidward. Let's jump on this trampoline so we can get back to him. And let's end this level. Alright, squiddy old pal. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Duh. Uh, what if I just gave you this? Alright, final golden spatula. Alright, guys. <laughs> Alright, check it out! That's all the golden spatulas of this level! Alright, so we're done with that le level. Let's head on back to the beginning bottom. Alright, and let's see how many golden spatulas do we need to get to the... I'm, I'm just checking on Oh, 15, cool. Alright, so, in the next video, I'm gonna do the level... Downtown Bikini Bottom. See you then, everyone.